Court Bureau Tournament is finally here and the finals will be contested next week on Friday. But today and tomorrow it is the semi-final and today in the afternoon we've got Umeme Kingston versus Umeme Biz and tomorrow we'll be getting Alim Juakali versus Massa to try and fight for this trophy that is in front of here. And the people have brought that trophy here in the studio today is Court Bureau CEO Robert Robo. Ochola, and also we have got a man from Tanzania himself who will be telling us all about Ndondo Cup and what they have for us there and what will be happening between Kot Biro, Kenya and Tanzania in this community tournament. Robo, karibu sana wa 254 skuming. Ah, tz kwa vizuri uh -huh. tunashukuru tunaendelea vizuri pia uh -huh. uh, ah, karibu sana uh -huh. so sio bana kitu kubwa ni kotbiro iko hapa tournament imekwaje imeendelea hey, vipi tournament uh, kusema kweli uh, tulianza vizuri in fact hata e season nilikuwa nimeshikika kidogo yeah. so nilikuwa kidogo nje eh, na besh ndio alikuwa anashikilia Steven Ogos yes and unfortunately just the day before tournament uh, group stage the kick off yeah Though unfortunately aka pass mm -hmm. so ilikuwa ni challenge kubwa sana yeah. kwa colleagues wale walikuwa hapo Polosa na Isa yeah. na at least nikafungua schedule kidogo tukarudi ku react na kusaidiana nao but so far imekuwa imekuwa poa sana imekuwa very exceptional yeah. it's very special mm -hmm. because pia tunaifanya in memory of two special people of yes. Kotbiro mm -hmm. eh, Besh we yeah. alikufa alifariki kabla tuanze mm -hmm. alafu na Udu Cobra uh -huh. because Udu yes. Cobra pia ndio alikuwa ametusimamia pande ya social media mm -hmm. so we are dedicating this season yeah. to the two of them yeah. but uh, so far mm -hmm. mpire na chezo pale wanacheza ni kama Barcelona ina inatengenezwa ina hapo yeah. eh. yeah. <laughs> watu wanatoka mbali unasikia jamii ilikuwa kwa hiyo barabara kwa yeah. watu wamepack magari watu wamejaa watu wame, na set walikuwa kwa kiwanja yeah. wamesikia vile inaendelea yeah. so watu wamekuja mbio angalau mtapata hata second half uh -huh. ball ilikuwa tamu trust me mpira inachezwa pale uh -huh. hata hii timu imeenda chana yeah. wangekuja tu wangwe tu wachezaji hapo na ngo na performance yeah. yetu vile ingekuwa yeah. sawa yeah. ah juu kabisa na umetuletea mm. mgeni hapa kutoka TZ mjamaa Umar Karoli mm. who is liaison between Kotbiru and Ndondo Cup in Tanzania kwanza tuambie Ndondo Cup Tanzania ni ni gani hiyo Ndondo Cup ni tournament ambayo inakuwa run kama Kotbiru inavyokuwa run ni watu wa mtaa watu wa kawaida wanakutana na maprofessionals wale wanacheza ligi kubwa kwa hiyo inakuwa ni mix ya watu wanaanza na wengine kwa hiyo ni tournament na ni kubwa Tanzania yeah. watu wengi sana wanaangalia talent nyingi zinatoka mafans ni wengi mm -hmm. na nimefurahia kuona pia Kotbiro yeah. Kenya na ika kitu kama hiyo mm -hmm. kwa ni kitu nzuri ambayo inasaidia East Africa kwa sababu East Africa kidogo tuko down international tournaments yeah. mm -hmm. lakini sehemu kama hizi zikitumika kuonekana talents yeah. inaweza kutusaidia improve sana. So mpango mm. gani robo kubwa mko nayo mm. na TZ round hii kwa sababu mnataka kupeleka kwa Tibiro International vipi? Eh mpango iko but mpango kubwa kwanza si kama wa Kenya ni kwa ensure tume dominate Eastern Africa football. Uh -huh. Unaona vile tulifanya mandugu zetu wa Tanzania hapo <laughs> eh <laughs> ka Afcon nyosha <laughs> kesho pia nyosha <laughs> hata ya inakuja hii <laughs> eh, itakuwa ni tondo ndoko ndoko Yeah. itakuwa ni ndondo cup na kotbiro for, for starters yes. e, wina wa ndondo cup na wina wa kotbiro watakuwa na clash hii ni kitu tumekuwa tukijaribu kuitengeneza for the past three years yeah. kwanza ile season south b wadi, walikuwa uh -huh. but kuna modalities mingi vitu mingi tunawakia yeah. lazima pia tuende kwa federation uh -huh. wa buy in yeah. juu tuna need blessings zao uh -huh. kpl pia wa buy in tuna need blessing 
but stakeholders kutoka kila mali ya wengine yeah. tumekuwa na meetings mingi sana nao yeah. na wote wamekubali na wote wanasema itakuwa ni kitu kapeleka not only kwa biro but football yetu ya East Africa to another level yeah. pia kuleti mambo ya East Africa cooperation yeah. cohesion watu wapendane watu wasikizane zaidi yeah. tena watu pamoja ndondo cup ukienda yeah. <laughs> ni kubwa yeah. yani mpira na ukiangalia mafans bila umeja kiwanja mm -hmm. quality ya football mm -hmm. iko na another level yeah. kuna siku Mugabe alienda huko uh -huh. eh, Victor Wanyama yes. alienda one of the finals mm -hmm. na hata street moji kane miwa Wanyama street mm -hmm. Iyo ndo iyo ndo the same same tournament ndio hiyo wanyama alikuwa huko so tumekaa wote tukaangaliana tukapimana vifua to 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 pound per pound tunasimama wote pamoja unaona so kila kitu yetu ndo yao tabia ya mafans ndio yetu lakini ya discipline kila kitu but so not kutucheze tuone ni wafadhili ndio tunangangana kuongea nao then tuone vile takubali then tuone za cheza ila tucheze huko ama tucheze hapa but ile tunataka sana tucheze home and away wow hiyo ni kale sana so sisi na TZ tunakuanga na vita za mpira mbaya sana Kenya na TZ na venye robo ashasema tu anyorosha Afcon return leg ni kesho unaiona vipi eh makosa tuliona kwa sababu hata ukikao ukiangalia mechi ya kwanza Afcon si ndo tulikuwa tunaanza nyindo Kenya wanakuja nyuma wakichomoa mm -hmm. na unfortunately hiyo bao ya mwisho mwisho nikakuja mm -hmm. ikatuangusha yeah. lakini nikidhani itakuwa ni mechi kubwa Kenya na professionals wengi yeah. ila wajiangalie Tanzania sasa hivi yeah. atraki kurudia makosa tena. Haja kurudia makosa. Hiyo ni kwale. Sasa ndono cup nyenye mshafika finali already mko na wina huko tayari ama pia nyenye mnaendelea na mchezo. Eh bado ndono cup inaendelea na mchezo mm -hmm. na finals zitakuwa on third mm -hmm. ambayo E, kuna organizer wetu wa Ndondo Cup yeah. na yeye pia ana plan kukuja huku finals za huku. Uh -huh. e, kwa hiyo itakuwa huku yeah. delegates kidogo ende kule waangalie formalities na kila kitu yeah. ile introduction yeah. na wao pia watakuja huku waangalie formalities na kila kitu. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Kitu kubwa roboni watu wamekuwa wakiona Cotbiro watu wanasikiza Cotbiro hebu waambie umuhimu wa Cotbiro tangu ianze hadi saa hii umuhimu wa Cotbiro Kenya so far imekuwa kitu kitu ya kwanza kubwa sana na Cotbiro mm -hmm. ni kutengeneza talent uh -huh. sasa kuna kijana fulani amechezea Dallas FC mm -hmm. au Lions of Mudurwa yes. mwachezea jana anaitwa Babs mm -hmm. huo kijana sijui kwa nini walimuingiza second half alikuwa yeye yeah, ndio <laughs> ndio <laughs> jana hiyo boli ya masa makungeni sports yeah. association na uh, Dallas ilikuwa yes. Christian the battle of the railway line eh, eh. ilikuwa the, the derby of the railway line yeah. unajua ma, Dallas na iko mudhurwa alafu uh -huh. makungeni pale unajua wote ni watu wa reli eh at least ni railway quarters uh -huh. so ilikuwa ni the battle of the railway line yes. lakini mtali stand out no babs Kuzi wali watu mbako wali muita SGR Jyo SGR Ina speedy chile Kijana liko na chiza mpira Mbaka liko mishinda opponents Na teammates wake na speed Na skills, kila kitu So kijana mwenyewe ni mwona watu wengi Wana suggest I kwe kwa One of the best players So watangalia wengine then tu nibleta kuwa But iyo ndo kitu Scouts wale shasema kuna mtuwa Iyo ndo kitu about Kothbiro Yeah kuangalia nakumbuka kijana mmoja wa mamba alikuwa anaitwa mata yeah. alikuwa mamba kidogo akagrow kama chuapa akaingia 1000 uh -huh. na kaingia magare united yes. tuna wanacheza wa kitu kiwaona uh -huh. ukiangalia team kama umeme wanacheza leo uh -huh. ukiangalia kina mike huyu wa uh, amenda wazito saa hii uh -huh. ukiangalia senaji yes. yuko tasca uh -huh. utaona ni watoto wadogo tumaona alafu wakacheza chiza hapo kutbiro mchezo mchezo wakakuwa scouted from hapo alafu wanaenda team kubwa uh -huh. ukiangalia ukienda pumwani ni the same same thing uh -huh. so hata hizi team kama alin jua kali yeah. utapata one or two players watakuwa picked up na na NSL teams na pia Kenya Premier League yeah. teams na hiyo ndo main reason ya Cotbiro kuna kitu hiyo ndo number one. Yeah. secondly ni kuletanisha ma players wengi pamoja um huyu amacha aches against ama with the professional mm -hmm. like mentored yeah. e, fanya hivi hiyo mpira ungepiga hivi pasi hivi hakuna kitu tamu kama unacheza alafu unaletwa crossi na wewe ni kijana unaje ndio umetoka shule 
unaletwa cross na prof very professional, professional player. player. Jivula hata ileta atakuletea vizuri yeah. na mali utakuwa. Then wewe ni kumaliza hapo yeah. ndo unapikiwa with another team. Yeah. Unaona? Then thirdly ni kuleta communities pamoja. Uh -huh. yes. Tuna driver genders to for to for peace, cohesion, vijana yes. fujo nini watu waishi pamoja, watu wake pamoja mamta. Unaona kama watu lose Odu Cobra yes. kwa mambo ya terrorism. Uh -huh. Unaona very yeah. young guy kwa mambo ya terrorism. Yeah. Uh -huh. So hapo pia sisi engagement zetu zingine apart from Cote Biro, suenda tunaongelea mambo za vijana wa chenizi mambo za ugaidi. Yes. So unaona on the same line tunaona mmoja wetu wa lose. So tuko na more vigor ya kuambia vijana wana kuja wengi tusikue kuja kuingizwa kwa hizo yeah. vitu kama hizo. And all the, so many other social yeah. issues. Ile upendo waga pale Cote Biro kuja yeye mwenyewe uta, utaona then umefika yeah. najua uzuri kwa hivyo yeah. na ndondo cup yenye mwachezaji umetuletea kwa national scene wale wanajulikana ni kama nani wachezaji ni wengi kama kuna moja huyu alifunga bao ya pili ya Tanzania na Arabia Stars anaitwa bwana Samata mm -hmm. yeye bwana Samata ametoka eh, ndondo ametoka ndondo amecheza ndondo mm -hmm. ana ma brothers zake yeah. kwao ni watu wengi wanatokea ndondo yeah. wanaenda teams kubwa mm -hmm na pia kwenye international yeah. eh wow. lakini pia asitutishe na maji <laughs> hata siku na kinamfi <laughs> neno bana <laughs> <laughs> majina kubwa hata mgumbi mgumbi amechezea nyui hapo mariga amechezea upito na bado wanacheza ni bless wao lirudi arnold regular na sponsor to nini goalkeeper of the year yes Product. Kod Miro product tu yeah, mm -hmm. hapo. Yeah. Kuna hata watu wana tu sponsor trophies pamoja movement. Aha. Kina Abdul. Yes. Ya watu wamecheza tu hapo Kod Miro. Nyumbani. Eh, so, Sasa kitu kubwa ni trophy hapa mbele. Yes. Ni kutuambia historia yake na kesho unaona nani mw... wewe ni mkubwa unaweza mm -hmm. unatakano kwa neutral lakini tuambie tu timu yenye umeona. <laughs> Itabeba hii championship. Eh, hii trophy kwanza ukiangalia si kwa ubaya. Baada tile trophy ya KPL ifiki. Ifiki hapa. Hakuna hiyo the biggest trophy in Kenya. Hata bei yake ni hali ya juu. Hii trophy ilitoka Germany kwa Volt zetu. Unajua si ni tuna Volt huko. Eh tukata sio pamoja movement ikaletwa na ID. ID amechezea mpaka Rambe Stars anaishi Belgium. Yenda lileta. So indo indo trophy na Bifit Cote Biro. Yes. Eh so hii si season unajua gani hard ku predict <laughs> nani angejua cinema la <laughs> season wangechukua <laughs> eh, 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 na wakakuja na saa hii eh, walinyoshwa mpaka group stage nini alimjua kama hawakupenya hawakupenya hata round of 16 yeah. so ni it, ni very tricky ku yeah. predict very yeah. tricky akile yeah. mpiri nachezwa pale yeah. it can go anywhere yeah. unaona masa eh, Dallas jana me dominate second half yes wame dominate masa mpaka watu wa masa walikuwa naomba penalty zinapigwa sangapi yeah. kidogo ite ninth minute ndo mm. wakafunga tu bao from now unaona na hiyo ndo coach biro iko you always predict yeah. lakini mali imefika sasa hii yeah. ni money bracket ah. eh sasa hiyo yes. sponsorship tume kutoka sport pesa yeah. sasa hii ni money bracket uh -huh. so sasa kila team wanakuja yeah. wameji army to the teeth they know they are gaining something wanajua sasa hii kila match sasa ni dday uh -huh. eh yes. sasa hii kila match inachukuliwa na all the seriousness ile inatakana yeah. so hakuna mtata atakuja lalishe kidogo uh -huh. leo umemebiz kingston yeah. eh hapo alafu kesho surprise package yeah. alimjua kali alimjua kali eh wanakuwa up against ni ni masa uh -huh. eh, na statistics kidogo ni eh, umemebiz uh -huh. the last time walifika semi finals juni 20 years ago aha wajaifika oh, especially yeah. wajaifika yeah. hapo they have been good Yeah. but consistently wanatoka ga quarters Ka kabla mm. ni wa, ni wacho wende mm. mlibadilisha tarehe yes. za kotbiru mm. ndio ile kuanga tournament ya december season but round imekuwa katikati hata nini ilifanyika hapo eh, kitu kubwa ilifanyika ni ligi ya Kenya ile change ikakuwa okay. kama ya Europe yes. so pia sisi ku conform na policies uh, na tutaki kosa sisi watu tunafuata sheria yes. tutaki kosa na watu mm. na pia stakeholders meetings tulifanya mm ka consult hapa na pale ndio tukaona pia coach biro shift because it's a off season tournament yes. eh, so off season say si ni june july, june, july. so ndio tukai shift to june july okay. alafu so unaona wachezaji pia under pre season mm -hmm. so inawasaidia pia wachezaji the tournament ku keep yeah. fit mm -hmm. kukua yani wasiangu wasilalishe yeah. eh, ndio player hata kiskautiwa pale akienda timu nyingine fitness yake iko juu hiyo yeah. ndio ilifanya reason tubadilishe 
But December, yeah. kuna under 20. Under 20, under ya Kothbiru. Ya Kothbiru. Oh. Yo tutaongele. <laughs> okay. Kumari, mm -hmm. karibu sana Kenya. Ah, na shukuru sana. Mpira yetu kabisa kaji sarobo. Yeah. Nime shukuru sana kwa kututembelea Power 254. Kabisa. Okay. We have been talking to Robert Robo, Ocholo is the CEO of Kotbiro, and Omar Karoli, who is in Dondo Cup liaison to Kotbiro on what they'll be having for us next between Kenya and Tanzania when it comes to home football. I'm Robert Osoro. Let's enjoy watching the World Friendlies. When we come back, we'll be talking about the fan zone and what has been transpiring in the transfer market.